What's up, my trading friends? Um, it is Wednesday. Happy hump day. I thought I would make a surprise little video. I look like trash. I have bags under my eyes the size of Texas. Anyway, I've been getting a lot of requests for um, basically how do I find trades? What am I looking for? Um, kind of start to finish, sort of. Um, and I wanted to talk about Penn and DraftKings and why I said on August 9th not to sleep on these guys because they had perfect setups. So, let's get into it. The first thing that I want to stress is the strat combo sheet which you can find in my pinned tweet on Twitter and you have to know what reversals are and what continuations are we enter on reversals we do not enter on continuations uh, a real easy way to know the difference between a reversal and a continuation is corrective activity reversals have had corrective activity or a pullback or a TTO, some sort of healthy corrective activity in the form of a pullback before trend resumption. So this sheet, the Strat Combo Sheet, very important. Okay, let's make that go away. Sorry, operating on like too many tabs. Okay, so first things first is zoom out. I always start at the monthly time frame. Um, at the end of every month, I will go through my monthly charts. Um, you can use a scanner. I use TrendSpider for my scans. Um, which I will, I believe that's in the video description, my affiliate link. And anyone who signs up through my link, I will share my scans with you, no problem. Just tag me and let me know that you signed up. Or you don't even need a scanner if you're only watching a certain amount of stocks and you can just train your eyes and know what you're seeing and know what you're looking for. So I always start on the monthly time frame. And the thing about the monthly time frame is you it's a monthly time frame. So you have the entire month for the setup to play out. So play your time frame. So if you're using the weekly time frame, it should play out within a week because you're using the weekly time frame. So when I'm looking at the monthly time frame, I like to find patterns where there is consecutive lower highs every month. So Penn had, that was a high, and then we had one, two, three, four. We had four consecutive monthly lower highs. And part of the strat is knowing about broadening formations. And so the reason I was watching Penn is because we went two down on the month, but we started coming back through the range. And I have a rule that says, it's basically a self-made rule, but it works really well. So I have a 50% retracement rule. So the previous month, it doesn't have to be perfect, but this little dashed line is about halfway through the month. So once we reach this level, I can pretty much conclude that if we continue higher, we're going to become an outside month, which means we're going to have to take out this 7920 level. So that's my target because I am assuming we are going to go outside month and that has to happen. We have to hit 7920 in order for that to happen. Now, when I'm using the monthly time frame, so I will make a monthly um, watch list. So tickers that I'm watching for the month 
because I like their setups and they'll go in their own little watch list. Now with the strat, we obviously use multiple time frame analysis. So whatever time frame my trade is coming from, my entries will come from one time frame lower. So the monthly, I will use the weekly chart for entries. If I'm using the weekly chart for my setup, my entries will come from the daily. So one time frame under. Okay. <clears throat> And then I marked the high and low of last month in pink, which you can also see over here. So here is my little dashed line, which is halfway through last month's candle, this candle here. What did we get? We got a beautiful 312. And if you know what a rev strat is, it's a one a failed two down because it didn't take out the magnitude, followed by a two up. If you don't know what I'm talking about, you have to learn the strat sheet. You have to learn the terminology. A rev strat is the best thing ever because basically it's telling you that the bears failed, so who's left? You have to pick the other team. You have to go with the winning team. So the bulls are up. So on the weekly time frame. Your entry, once we opened this week right here, and we started coming up, 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 once we broke the high of the previous week, that's the entry. And we knew that we were targeting 79.20 over here because that's what it would take to become an outside month. And you see we had corrective activity. This is a pullback, okay? We don't want to enter on continuation. So two up, two up, two up, two up. There's been no consolidation, no pullback. You're just going to get tried out if you just try jumping in on a two up. Okay, so this one <clears throat> worked out gorgeously. Your next target would obviously be 80 psychological, which we hit. So we hit 80.09. Okay. Now let's go to DraftKings. Okay, on the monthly time frame. So looking at the left chart over here. Again, this is a rev strat. So we had an inside bar, we had a two down that failed because it did not take out its magnitude, right? So this was the magnitude. Bears couldn't do it, so we wanna go, we're fair weather fans. We want to go to the winning side. So based on the strat combo sheet and what a rev strat is, anything, any time we are above this pink line, which is last month's high, 53.39, we are in force. And we know that this is our target. This is our target. 60 psychological is our target. Um, this one I got from the weekly chart, which I'll show you over here in just a second. Okay, so just real quick, the bears failed, so now it's the bull's turn to step up. All right, so if you'll notice, the pink line was last month's high. We triggered it here, but we triggered it on, we had a two and then we had a two up. So this is where I talk about in the swing trading video that we don't have to be the first ones in. Because if you were, if you just entered right here when 53.39 broke, it didn't go so well. It, it tagged it, it went up, and then it came back down. Then we gapped up a bit. Still, this is a continuation. So we have a three, we have a two up, a two up, a two up. So we did not have any corrective activity yet and we want to enter on reversals. Otherwise, we're gonna get tried out, which means we're gonna get stopped out. So, this was a two down because we broke the previous week's low just barely. Actually, actually, that should probably be a one because the low of this week was 50.72 and so was the low of this week. Interesting. TradingView has it as a two down. Either way, 
it was a pause, it was a breather. So when this week opens, the trigger is a break above last week's high, which is 53.24, which also puts us back above our monthly RevStrat trigger of 53.39. Okay, let's zoom in real big. So these green lines all came from the monthly. So we hit all of them. This one was the 60 psychological. Psychological numbers, anything under 100, if your stock is under $100, actually, even if it's over $100, pretty much every $5 range is going to be a psychological level. So 60, 65, 70. And it's kind of the same setup as uh, Penn was. We had a bunch of consecutive lower highs on the monthly time frame. So this is pretty much as perfect as you can get. So we wait for corrective activity, and then we get back in, and then we can re-trigger the monthly, and they just ran it. Um, I think that's all I wanted to say. Let's look at the daily. Yeah, the daily was was really choppy, and I say choppy because there's a broadening formation in here. But again, if you're using the monthly time frame, the weekly is the best bet. So we had a high, a slight higher high, and then we made another high. And then we had eh, it's not the best. But yes, it was choppy. So we made a new high, came down, made a low, made a new high, made a new low, then it took off. And you guys can see, once we broke last week's high, you see this volume started pouring in. So, okay, if you're still in DraftKings, 60 was a great spot to take profit, but if you are still holding, your next targets are 62.27 and 64.60. All right. That's it for me. I got to go to the store. I got to get paint so I can paint these walls. God, I look rough. Anyway, um, if you have any questions, you guys know what to do. Hit me up. Thank you for watching, like and subscribe, and I will be making another video on Saturday. Till next time.